<laughs> Yay. <What? laughs> Fantastic. Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, so nice to see everyone. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> this is great. It's wonderful, wonderful. Thanks. That's oh. Oh, Sima. Haven't seen Sima for a while. This is lovely. Yeah, this is really lovely. Nice to see everyone face to face, right? A little different from what we usually do. So that is exciting. Awesome. Work with you. So yeah, fun. it's going to be fun. Oh, a couple oh. more people coming in and then we'll get going here. Oh, JP, I haven't seen you in a long time. Nice to see yeah, you. Oh, oh, hi. Right here. Good, so good. Lovely. So awesome. So awesome. Oh, this is great. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, oh, here's Dana. Lovely. We'll have, probably have a few. Hi, Deborah. We'll probably have a few people. I love your coat. That is beautiful. Probably have a few people coming in a little bit later because we're doing things, you know, in an in an unusual way. Oh, here comes iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, a little different than normal, but um, two reasons. We wanted to be able to touch base with you um, and, and have, you know, a face-to-face -face discussion. It's six months through the year, so we thought it was a great time to check in on those goals and kind of where you're at. Uh, so we thought this would be a great way to do it. Also, Facebook's been a little tricky, so it's it's been hard to get us both together, and we like doing them together on, on oh, Mary's here, mm -hmm. on the Tuesday classes. So that's kind of where we're at today. So we're glad everyone could make it. This is fantastic. And mm -hmm. I think maybe we'll get going, Casey, and then just let people in as, you know, if we have some stragglers. Go. I think that's a great idea. Ah, yeah, awesome. I think it's a great idea. We're just going <laughs> to do another reminder, but I think we'll just get started, shall we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So hello and welcome, everyone. It is so great to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining us for your free, your free Tuesday acting class. Yes, all the way. So awesome. Mm -hmm. Some of you are new to us. So if you want to pop in the chat um, where you're from and maybe what your goals are, that would be great. But we're going to get right into this. So mm -hmm. here's the thing. We asked many of you to take advantage of the free consultation that we offered after Booked. So we did a workshop, we do a workshop once a year called Booked that helps you get to the, the, the next level. We look at where our clients are at and we think, what do they need? And then we create something that's gonna help them get to the next level. And it was wonderful, it's been wonderful so far to work with you face-to-face -face and see where you're at. And what mm -hmm. we learned is, that across the board, pretty consistently, people don't have a clear vision for their career or they don't have clarity on the steps they need to take to get to the next level to reach their goals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that lack of clarity makes it hard to take action and even harder still to find success, right? So as I said at the beginning, it's six months into 2024. So it seemed like a really good time to kind of clarify things and help you level up. Yeah. So we made a little gifty poo for you. Yeah. Because you know how we love little gifty poos. So we made a little gifty poos. We're going to give it to you right now. It's a form for you to work with through this workshop with us. You don't have to, hi, Rebecca, you're new to us. So welcome, welcome. Um, and Robin, I believe you're new to us too. It's so funny, Robin. I was just thinking of my bestie from high school this morning, whose name is also Robin. Um, <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. We're here to help you get clear. So we created this form to help you get clear. So you can work along with us right now you don't have to have all of the answers. We're, the, the most important part right now is that we're going to help you with the question. Hi, Harry. Welcome. We're going to help you for, with the question. So I'm Casey. For those of you who don't know, I am your acting coach. Yeah. And I'm Donna Marie. I'm your mindset and visualization coach here at Screen Acting School. And we're super excited to be working with you all today. So... How would you feel if we told you that you are one audition away from a life-changing booking? How would you feel? 
Thumbs up, says Greg. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, good, right? Not bad. Yeah. That's That feeling is your state. It's how you're feeling. It's what state your body is in. And when you are planning things and when you are creating things, it really helps to have your body in the correct state. And there is a correct state. <laughs> I don't mean correct like this. I mean, what's going to work for you so that you can reach your goals. So here's one thing that's not a correct state. Not having any water. <laughs> I'm not going to be your mom today, but not having any water in your system will get you in. Yes. Yay. I've got this. Always got my handy dandy. Coach KC water glass or whatever this is. Not having water in your system means your brain's depleted. You're not going to plan as well. Hi, Clifton. Welcome, welcome. So you're not going to plan as well if you're not properly hydrated. So drink water. Number two, this is not good planning posture. This is how most people are feeling about their careers when they're thinking about their careers. They're like, oh, it's so hard. I don't know what to do. This is shitty posture, period, but it's really bad for setting goals and creating a vision. You can see the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Am I right? Are you with me? Everybody get it? it makes sense, right? This is not good, but that's how most people approach their careers. This is great. Opening up your body. Let's have everybody open up their, op up, open up your body. Open up your body wide. Stretch, stretch, stretch all the way up to the ceiling. Yay. Big stretch out. Really good. Oh, feels good, right? Shake your shoulders a little, shake your chest a little. Get your, I know it's weird to shake your boobs in front of people, but it actually makes you feel really good. Shake your whole body out, shake it out. It's really good. Now we're going to create a state where we feel happy, comfortable, and invigorated by taking. Because mm -hmm. most people are very, very comfortable giving. Let's try giving first and then we'll take. So we're going to give. I give. Stretch your extension of your thought through to the end of your fingernails. So I give. Yeah. And let's do it from the heart, shall we? That's where actors live. Straightforward, give it to everybody else here and say it. I give. Lori's here. I give. I give. I give. Oh, say it. It feels so good, doesn't it? Now. I want you to imagine one goal that you may have. Let's say it's a booking. Let's say it's that life-changing booking. Does this work for you? Is that a good goal? Mm -hmm. um, Rebecca, I'm going to pin that, but the answer is no, but kind of. So I take... Focus is the thing that's going to help you. So let's get out of the details and let's get into the learning. I take, you're going to take that life-changing role you want. I take, say it out loud. I take, take, I take, I take, I take, I take. Robin, you're not taking. I take. I want you to take. Everybody, Francis, everybody. I take, I take, I take. I'm not going to come in this class and be lazy and just observe. I take. Brian, I hope you're taking. I take, I take. I take. Hey, I take now. I want hey. you to go under your chair and grab it like it's candy. I take, I take, I take, I take, I take enjoy it. I take, 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 I take. And now you're full of that success and that accomplishment that happens when you take when you want. This is the state. This is audition confidence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it feels great. <laughs> it feels so good. I'm not an actor, but I love doing that exercise. I always feel so invigorated afterwards. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. feeling good? Can I get a thumbs up if you're feeling good? Thumbs down if it's not so hot. <laughs> good, good. That's what we like. Thumbs up. Take what you want. All right. 
<laughs> and Dana's got three. <laughs> Love it. Okay. That's where we're at for state. Absolutely. And that's step one. Yeah. So yeah. that's audition confidence, right? That's audition confidence. You need to have that accomplishment, feel that confidence, create that state. Step one, mm -hmm. you have a big goal, right? To be a star. Is that important? Sure. But thinking about that big goal is not important. Setting it and working towards it is Having it in your visual zone so that you can see opportunities as they come is so, so important. We say this all the time, but we want you to hear it mm -hmm. and do it. Put it into practice. This is because of reticular activation system. Hear this as well. Even if I've said it a million times to you, hear it. If your goal is present in your mind, your mind will be reminded to look for it. Much like if you buy a red car, all of a sudden everybody has red cars. If you break your leg, all of a sudden you see people who have broken legs. Your brain is going, this is important. I need to pay attention to this. So yeah. if you put this in your vision, your vision board as Donna Marie teaches you, you're going to pay attention and learn from opportunities that you may not pay attention to if you don't. Your subconscious is going to pick up on them, right? Mm -hmm. It's being flagged as important. So your subconscious is going to pick up on that. And for a career like acting, you need all of your ducks in a row. You need all of that help that you can get. You need your subconscious working for you, right? Mm -hmm. So this is your six month check-in, right? This is, we're going to talk about creative goal setting for actors today. So really important topic. We're six months in, maybe you've accomplished what you wanted in the six months. Maybe you haven't. That's okay. We're going to talk about it today. How can we move forward? So creative goal setting for actors, create a bold vision, right? Take those small, smart, risky steps towards it every single day and then rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't succeed by focusing on your problems. You won't. So the things that you don't want or the things that you think are barriers, you need to create an optimum state prior to planning so that your mind is clear and positively focused. Just like we did. Just yeah, like that's why we yeah. started with that today, right? And we're going to guide you through this. So uh, Casey, I'll pop in the form, will you, Casey? And I did, I did. Oh, you did. Wonderful. So we're well, going to do through this so that you can use this form over and over and over again now to reach your big goals. So mm -hmm. if you haven't downloaded the link, if you haven't got the link from the form, Casey just popped it in again. So you can go ahead, grab that, and then, and then we'll go through it today. So many actors think of their problems as barriers, right? I'm not confident. I'm not talented enough. I have imposter syndrome or I can't afford this, you know, too expensive for classes, right? Or people like us don't do this, or I don't have the connections that I need to get in ahead, or I'm too tall, too short, too fat, too skinny, too ugly, too pretty, too black, white, brown, yellow, green, red, whatever it is, too much, not enough. But it's ridiculous. It is not true. None of yeah. that. Absolutely. Absolutely not true. Is there anybody here who's over 80 who's booking recurring roles? Uh, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we know someone. There is no, there, there, there is no too much. There's no too old. There's no too young. There are opportunities for everyone. What you need to be is the person who's prepared to get it. So if you think I'm not confident, that's not what you should be thinking. How do I build confidence specifically? How do I build audition confidence? You got to take your negative and turn it into a positive. I'm not talented. Big deal. Some of the people I've met who become met and coached who become the most successful were not talented at all. They were really hard working. In fact, some of them even had barriers that we call medicinal barriers. You know, the ones that you have to take drugs for to get by in life. They did not let that stop them. So let's talk about what small goal leads to my larger goal of being a successful actor. I want you to pop your, your answers in the chat 
but you don't need to know right now. You don't need to know right now. So if your large goal is to be, uh, let's say to win an Academy Award, let's just say it is. Say you planned backwards from that goal to where you are right now. What's the first thing you need to do to win an Academy Award? The first step you need to take to win an Academy Award. Yeah. Anybody have any ideas? Rebecca's asking a question about creating self-tape in a reel. Rebecca, are you in Audition Plus? If you're not, you should be, <laughs> but I will tell you about it. Hone my skills, get training, good agent. Before a good agent, you got to get good training. Yeah. Good coaching is everything. Build connections and get seen by casting and wow them. So before that, your very first step where you are right now, Kara, that might be where it is for sure. Yeah, it might be a good headshot. It might be, you know, um, a good headshot is a good one here. Let me just uh, address this really quickly. We have a client named Ryan. Y'all know him, some of, or some of you know him. He had a terrible headshot. We know Ryan, he's very charismatic. He's really lovely. His headshot made him look boring. He got new headshots. Yeah. Charisma shows a good headshot matters. But part of that is the class, taking the class with the instructors who are giving you the education that you need. There are a lot of coaches out there, but not all of them have taken someone from I've never done anything to leads in the number one shows in the world. That kind of breadth of experience gets you the right questions. Getting new headshots next week? Yes, Warren. Awesome. So the most obvious solution, what is the most obvious solution to reach my goal? The most obvious solution. First thing, take a class. Second thing, get good headshots. Third thing, make a resume. Fourth thing, like what's the most obvious thing that you need to do? Then do it. If all limits were removed, how could I take the next step to reach my goal? If all limits were removed, every possible limit, where you live, how much money it costs, your, your emotional um, strength and courage. If all of those things weren't a factor, what's your next step? If I could not fail, what clever idea would I try? Yeah, that's a good one. To take acting classes. <laughs> Francis, we've been trying to get you into classes for ever she says not saying a swear word <laughs> you're unsure of how to write a resume for an acting class guess what we have susan in audition plus you get an example in the course in the in your dashboard exactly how to make a, a resume so and if you can't find it just let us know and we'll put we'll you know push you in the right direction yeah. want, it, want it real bad some of the people i know who have wanted it real bad have not been successful Wanting it real bad is not a factor. Doing the work is a factor. Desperation is ugly. Dedication is admirable. Mm -hmm. Both of those people want it real bad. So wanting it real bad is not the factor. Dedication is the factor. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. The want is not the deciding factor. The dedication is the deciding factor. The desperation we can smell it a mile away. Nobody wants to be around it unless they want to take advantage of you. And that's not what you want. Mm -hmm. And it all starts with vision. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So asking yourself these questions when you're thinking of your goals, right? That's why yeah. I'm going. Sorry, Casey, I interrupted. Oh, no, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Do we have time for me to go through the rest of the questions, do you think? I can think you all stay through the, the rest of the questions? Gonna go a little over today. <laughs> and go a wee bit over. Uh, what is the most important thing to focus on? Yeah, good question. I'll tell you what the most important thing to focus on: the step you're on, the step you are on now. You cannot ride two horses at the same time. You've got to be on the foot, the step you are on right now. So if you are learning to do emotional connection, focus on emotional connection. 
If you're learning how to do a moment before, focus on a moment before. If you're learning how to create good relationships, focus on that. If you're working on eyelines, focus on that. That's how you need to think about it. If I dig deeper, what opportunity could I find? Yeah. What and will I about, learn about myself? How about what opportunities have been missed or not considered? That's a really good question to ask yourself. Or how would an eight-year-old solve this challenge? I These love are that one. all questions that get your brain working differently when you're looking at your goal, right? How about how would I solve this challenge 10 years from now? I love that. And what are the worst ideas I can think of for solving this challenge? <laughs> And I know it sounds counterproductive, but you'll get some really great opposites from that, right? So thinking of, of things in this way, how about in what way can I turn this challenge into an opportunity? So when you're thinking of these your goals, you have this form now, use it over and over and you'll be really surprised on how you move forward. Now, here's the thing. You have to step into discomfort and be okay there. You have to to move forward. Is it awful? Yeah, <laughs> I'll put my hand up as well, all right? But here's the thing, here's the thing, is that for the right person, there is a role that is challenging and it is going to change your life. And it could change someone else's life. Someone in your audience is going to change because you were daring. And you know this. Yeah. If you've got this, so you can use this formula over and over and over again to get to the next level. You've got to start asking yourself these questions. And if you're in Audition Plus where we teach audition confidence, we're there to guide you because this is part of audition confidence. And audition confidence is the only way to get to the career of your dreams. You don't have to be confident across the board, but you need to be confident in audition. And I know for me, I've seen this over and over again, and I want you to think, has there been a movie? Has there been a series? Was there a play that you saw that was a life-changing experience for you? Does everybody have something? Or just even a feeling when you're watching a movie and you get swept away by it. Mm -hmm. Imagine that the person who was in that movie didn't act because they were scared. They felt uncomfortable. They did not take the risk because it might embarrass them or their family. Imagine what would be missing in your life if they didn't have the courage. I think about this all the time. We would not be coaches if we hadn't fallen in love with the art form and pushing through imposter syndrome to coach my clients on these high profile roles where they were leads in the number one shows in the world. If I had not been there, if that trust had not been there between us, I don't know how it would have ricocheted through people's lives if I wasn't there. So I can think of a lot of things. Yeah. And you know what? Here's the magic part is that you are that person for someone else, right? There is someone in your audience feeling that way about you, or they will. <laughs> so whatever show it was that you, that you had in your head that had an impact on you, you are that person for your audience. So in other words, if you don't share your art, your brilliance, your magic, you're actually keeping that inspiration from someone like me or a little you, right? You can be someone who transforms lives. And I want you to feel that because it's really true. But if we don't do what our hearts tell us to do, we can't help people go from a caterpillar to a butterfly, right? And the truth is, is that for us, when we get to the end of our lives, we want to look back and feel like we genuinely gave everything that we could to help a certain kind of actor live their dreams. And here's the thing, we have coach actors who are not so great people and they found really great success and we never want to do that again. So we are actively working to find actors who are good people doing good things that we can help to make stars. Yeah, 
And we are only coaching people we believe in moving forward. That's why we have the barriers to access to our, to our group. Yeah, truly. So, well, that's our goal, right? That's our goal. And to live in that discomfort and never let the fear dictate. And so the reason why we share this is, well, it's that our passion will lead you to audition confidence and to your dream. Does that make sense to everyone? Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. So we want you to become this version of yourself that you want to be. I sometimes think I want this so badly for actors. I want this so badly for actors. I want you to become the version of yourself that you want to be. Mm -hmm. We keep becoming and transforming. Don't stop. It doesn't end. It yeah. doesn't end. You can keep becoming stronger, more powerful, a version of yourself that you don't even know exists yet. So you could live in discomfort. You can take risks. And I'm thinking of some of you in specific because I care so much for you. You could take risks. You can commit to this dream. And then you can ask yourself for those who've resonated with this story and with this journey and with the things that we've told you about our clients. Yeah, their journey. If you think you can get on the same journey, if you think you are on the same journey, is it okay if we share with you what the next steps are to get you to the next level of your journey? And can you hear this from us? Let it in, even if you're scared. We want you to gain the audition confidence that it needs to get to the next level. We want you to enroll in Audition Plus if you're not in Audition Plus now. You're here in this group because you are a certain kind of person that we very much want to coach. We want to be part of this transformational work with you. Yeah, and we want to invite you, I've popped the link in there, we want to invite you to join our incredible community and start working towards your dream now with mm -hmm. our clients. So we're going to give you a month's worth of coaching and lessons in Audition Plus, as well as all of the recorded classes and the resources that Audition Plus has to offer for only $37 for the whole month. But you have to register today by 5 p.m. in order to get that. So I have popped the link in and, and we're excited to see you all in there. I want you to understand that once you're in Audition Plus and we see your work progress, then you're going to be eligible to get into Audition Plus Conservatory. First, yeah. you need to join to learn the techniques. You need mm -hmm. to learn the right questions to ask yourself. And then we're going to help you learn to get to the next level with the conservatory. There are some people in the conservatory here right now. They're incredible actors who are taking risks and who are dedicating themselves. And I'll just share screen with you and show you how Audition Plus works for those of you that don't know. So this is Audition mm -hmm. Plus. So you'll get three emails a week uh, with a scene, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday is for you to dream. You're going to read the scene. You're going to use that visualization to, to see how you want that to be. Then Wednesday, you're going to plan. How is that scene going to look? What's that going to look like? And then on Friday, you know, Wednesdays, where are your eye lines? How does this work? How does that work? And, and then we'll send you instructions on all of that. And then on Friday, you're going to create. You're going to create that scene and upload it into the group. <clears throat> and these are some examples <laughs> of clients uploading their work into the group. Really it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. And then you, you get all of the recorded courses. Oh, you get office hours with us every Wednesday where you can have a private chat just like this. <laughs> you get a weekly Facebook Live audition lesson with Casey 
or Mindset Lesson with me. We trade off every Thursday, so you'll be joining us. And then at the end of the month, we have a live Q&A session over Zoom, just like this, but longer, <laughs> you know, <laughs> where you have the opportunity to ask any questions about the work we've been doing for the last month or anything else that you want to know um, for your career, how you can move forward. We also bring in special guests that are always free for Audition Plus members. So agents, casting directors, producers, directors, actors, other industry experts to come and talk to you and tell you how they got to where they are and what you can do to take those next steps. Really important. That's always free for Audition Plus customers. So it's a wonderful, wonderful community. We love everything about it. And we hope that you'll want to be a part of it. You're going to get access to all of the courses that are in there. These are pre-recorded courses you can do on your own time. So we have Acting 101, where I know, I think it was Rebecca asking, how do I create a self-tape? How do I create a reel? That's going to go through all of that for you. And, and you're also going to see that, Rebecca, like right in the course, you're going to see people doing it every day. And we're there to assist you with that and guide you. Yeah. And, you know, it'll give you all that basic foundation. How do I break down a script? How do I do, you know, all of those basics you need to know. Then we have the Hallmark course. As you probably know, uh, Casey's helped a whole lot of people book a whole lot of Hallmark. So she's got great, great <laughs> insights to what they're looking for. So we've created a whole course on that that you can do to learn exactly how to create a castable Hallmark audition. And you can do all of these on your own time over and over and over again. How to motivate your agent goes over the different types of agents, how to get an agent, how to keep one, how to get press without a publicist so that you can maybe become an alien of extraordinary talents and get a visa for the States, an incredible community of online actors. And of course, our Audition Plus actors always get discounts and first notice on any of our, our paid courses that we have coming up. So we really hope that you'll all be a part of it with us. I know there's a bunch of you here who are with us. And we love uh, love having you in there and having you as part of the community. Mm -hmm. So that's what Audition Plus is all about. And we hope to see you in there. It's by 5 p.m. today, uh, $37 for your first month. So really exciting. Yeah. And I love what Brian says here. He says, um, the first step is showing up. Yeah. So true. So, so true. true. So I'm true. not upset about it myself. Just yeah. show up. The people are there to support you and help you step by step. We're there to guide you. But the community, you know, they say the, the five friends you're closest to are telling you, telling you the story of your life, how, what your life will be like. If you have actors who are working at this level, working with you, you, it changes things. I mean, yeah. I think Tina can speak to that, right? All of a sudden you're... <laughs> You went from, you know, taking classes to booking a commercial like that. And just before she booked it, she said, what should I do for this commercial? And everybody chimed in. Yeah, everyone so helped. Nice. It's so true. And it worked. You booked, right, Regina? Booked. So, yeah. Yeah, really, that, really. Cool. Yeah, that kind of support, it's, 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 to, to be super cheesy, but I am. It's the wind beneath your wings. Yeah. It really a, is. You need learning support. You're obviously going to learn a lot from Casey and I, but learning from your peers, because everyone's going to be doing the same scene. So mm -hmm. you're going to see, oh my gosh, look at the way they did that scene. That's really incredible. I never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. And you learn from each other, right? We have people in Audition Plus who are leads in Hallmark. So if you're doing a Hallmark type scene, you get to see how they envisioned that. Yeah. How created that so really really incredible so we hope to see you all in there I know some of you are with us I have popped the link in I think we're going to have to say that's a wrap for us because we have gone over and I know Casey has another class to teach but copy that link now before we end this so that you have it and you have until 5 p.m. today. Kara, you are so welcome so welcome Regina says watching my peers doing their scenes is great learning opportunity. It really is. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's saying thank you and have a great day. You're so welcome. You have oh, the it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You have the form that Casey gave you for the questions to ask yourself for goal setting. Please make sure you have a copy of that so you can keep it and hear this now. Take it and do it. Don't just show up for this class and yeah, 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 great. And then forget about it. Go and do that work. 
right? It's that dedication. It's putting in that work that's going to move you forward. So take that free resource, use it for your goal setting. And we hope to see you all in Audition Plus with us. You can't beat can't be it so we'll see you there <laughs> that is a wrap for us I might be a little biased but you know <laughs> yeah, Susan says yeah yeah you won't regret it let's do it <laughs> that's that's great. Great. thank you I Susan. love it all, all right, right my darlings. darlings see you all thank you very much have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday bye everyone bye see you on screen see you on screen